Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more, uh, disc creatures. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't remember a whole lot about this game. And that's what makes it so exciting. We're gonna relearn everything. Ah, uh, cafe, please. No, I'll just talk to you. You'll do it for free. So one thing that I do recall is that we're gonna have to learn how to, uh, get good money quickly and easily, because we don't have money. So we probably get money via doing missions and shit, but... Dude, but get this, he's all like, Nah, man, I don't remember any of that, bro. Whatever, man, who even cares? Y'all are losing it over a bunch of voodoo mumbo jumbo. Incoming transceiver call. Hey, a crop. All those people are blocking the way, huh? And I rest up on the couch and kill some time until they move out. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Sounds like there's some sort of commotion going on outside. Watch it, old man, we're walking here. You know what a discard like me could do to an old geezer like you? I'm thinking you ought to cough up some cash and apologize. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome to see a creature just crush a dude? Forget the money, man, just end this old timer. You know what? Yeah, I think I just might watch and behold a real discard in action. What are you staring at, Pipsqueak? Oh ho ho, baby's got a disc in it. Well, let me teach you a lesson, punk. You ain't no real discar. A mine roar, a weak goyle, and a battle. I want you to splash mine roar. I want you to do electro ball battle. I want you. Artillery seeds. Everybody! Oh my Creton! Creniton, sorry. My Splash. No, actually. Regular blast battle, and then I want you to artillery Z. Use bluff. How dare you bluff me, you son of a battle. Nice. And then there was one. Not the claws of fire! Good job, Creniton. Dude, are you kidding me? Fine, jeez, we're out of here. You so much cross my path again, loser, and you won't be so lucky. Look at this posse. Oh, thank you, child. I'm not so old and frail that I can't hold my own against a few ruffians, but against creatures? Oh my, allow me to thank you. I was once a discard back in my prime, you know. The Vertigo Charm. This here is a great item I used to equip on my own creatures. Each one of your creatures can equip one item, you know. Open up the menu and head to equip. It protects the creature that's wearing it by making it resistant to confusion. Ah. Aw, you gave me some energy. Thank you, old man. Still, though, Saturn's an old man like me. This kid's like the one you've got there. We're supposed to be the technology that brought peace and an end to all conflict. Will we truly ever rid our world of strife, progress, and conflict, may indeed just go hand in hand, I dare say. Let's equip you with this. More resilience. So you're not fully resilient. Okay. Interesting. And I bet there's a, an equip that gives you a higher energy start. Among other things. So there's, you know... Lots of different options, more than likely. Alright, well, time to go into the first. Oh, 
Ogienien. Nice. As long as we can, uh, take them all out instantly, we're good. Some strong creatures look out for the weak ones. It's quite touching, really. I really got to load our uh, discs. It was a devastating blow, but it was not enough. Ah, so if you walk past when he doesn't have the disc up, you don't fight. But if you're in his line of sight, maybe? No. Okay. Gonna grow up to big and strong and the best battler around! So you have to actually, like, run into them in order to, uh, begin a fight. One tomati is not gone, two tomati is not gone, one tomati is gone. Easy. Hey, thanks for the tomati disc. All right. Let's load the discs before I forget for like the umpteenth time. So this is interesting. The fact that you can't use the creatures unless you load their discs and everything. Scarnet access. have three battles. So I don't really understand why I would want to have multiple battles or not. That's something I'll have to look into at some point. reason you want to have them on like different teams hmm. claw daddy
page three, not four. Just in case, you never know if somehow. So. Though I doubt it. Hmm. Unless, hold on, I have an idea. I can sell. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it is. You sell the extra um, discs you get. All right. That's how you make your money. Okay. That is a very interesting uh, way to handle it. So instead of making it so that, like, you know, you win fights and you get money and shit, no, you get monsters, disc creatures. And then all the extras you get from them are then used to be sold and make money. A very weird way to handle it, in my opinion, but I mean, hey, it is what it is, you know? Who am I to argue with them? Oh, you're fucked up, man. Ah, oh, wish I had told him to attack the, uh, Tomasi now, but whatever. Yeah, the Tomati wouldn't have been destroyed, but it would have been closer. Leapfrog. Ah, uh, it's a teleport item. Interesting. Battle. I mean, I don't mind more battles. You know, it's free money. Though, not a lot, only five. Blade Wing got a new move. Electoring got a new move. Uh, when Chronicton grows another level, we'll look at the moves, I think. That's what I'm leaning towards. Two free Pico. Let's go. I swear I saw this blue bird-like creature swimming around just a moment ago, but there's no trace of it now. Trust in the stepping stones. They are annoying, but rocky. They are anything but rocky. Look at you, hopping over here without a second thought. You've got spirit. Thank you. <gasps> Squirrels! Oh, I love them. Debbie had to die. Good job, Blake Quinn. Close. Alright, so it is a Earth monster. Interesting. There we go. Cranton got a new level and a new move. Maybe. I knew you had some fight in you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, right, let's look at you. We got Ripple. It hits everybody. Okay. Honestly. 15% health. Not really worth it. Well, I like Dash. Guaranteed paralysis. That could be good. Okay. Tomati. Oh, I already have Bolas on somebody. Let's 
so I guess I'll take that off of Krenitin. I didn't realize somebody already had it. Huh. Yeah, I don't need two of them. We're definitely getting the hang of this game, getting the hang of the uh, small little things it does. Uh, we haven't actually bothered to use any of the items to boost our chance at, um, you know, doing things. Uh, chance to capture. I wish the first thing on here was heal HP and not access the net. This group of good for nothing just strolled through here a little while ago and crashed all of my creatures. Thankfully, there was a blue refresh terminal right here. Bird! I need you! That's it, bro. Fuck yeah, give me fire. I know I think it by looking at me, but I'm a green horn in the scar, not much unlike yourself. Alright. So we're gonna go ripple, and then we're gonna go electro ball on. Quaver pull, and then we're gonna go. Defense. One down. I will have you splash on that. I will have you use sound waves on that. I will have you use blast on that. Nice, devastating blow. Ooh, my electric survived somehow though. Oh, 
Let's go! Far levels. Let's go, dude. And got a new move. Hey, and he gave us some money? That's super nice. Dark, bluff. I could get a dash attack. Okay, hold on. I want to take a look at our Cindro first. Powers 38, mind 57. Okay, so you are a mind user. So we don't want as much physical if we can help it. So I'm gonna get rid of regular attack, and I'm gonna throw on dash attack. Okay. Okay, let's go heal. Again. It would have been so much better if we would had that fire attack immediately, but of course, they all started level one, so obviously it's not gonna happen every time, so. You know what, that's okay. Level six. This is a perfect place for us to grind. Then. Syndro. Nice. Stun vapor. My blade win. Oh. Again, a perfect place for us to be grinding. Unless, of course, they are, you know, dicks and they attack first. Games like they can shoot up out of the ground. And I'm like, there's not really very many shooting up out of the ground, to be honest. Ah, oh, getting the mind boost and that one doing that. Man, we could have taken that one out easily. Oh well. Oh, I didn't still survive. Excellent. Excellent! Blade Gwyn, good job. One more level. Yeah, your power goes up. Your mind, not so much, but that's okay. Electring, I believe you are also a mind. Yep, yep, yep. Deep in the pecan forest, how strong have your creatures gotten? Well, I just got a new one, but he's already very strong. Alright, you are going to do... Ripple. You are going to do Electric Ball on you, and you are going to use Fireball on you. Ice Ball! 
my mech, how dare it be! Ah, that's how he avoided it, I see. Oof. Guess I should battle my team against some wild creatures! Yes, you should, sir. Thank you for the items. I am very desperate in need of more of those items in case we come across something rare that I would like to get. Okay. God, having these, uh... Things is so helpful, so nice, so amazing. Okay, I want to make sure Ogden is the one that's fully done. Oh, you're on page two. You're not. Mm. Now you're fully installed. Ah. Bottler? You're a new one. Oh, Debbie Hatch should get fucked. Ooh, that Debbie Hatch got that. Everybody got fucked. Let's go. Ah, uh, we didn't get his, uh, disc. Oh, well. A small hut stands deep in the forest, entrance strictly forbidden! It is forbidden! Not an ambush. Why is it always the bushes named Am? What a bully. And you're dashing me too? How dare it thee! Oh well, that doesn't matter. He's taking out anyway, so. Another Debbie hat disc, nice. Now that's gonna be full. Energin. Uh, we don't have to, but I want to. Uh, fully heal before we go in there. We don't know if there's gonna be an automatic fight, if there's gonna be a boss, or if there's just gonna be a lot of like, Waves of enemies that we're gonna have to fight. We don't know if we can't leave or not. We don't really have healing items because we don't really have a lot of money. I didn't mean to go in here, but whatever. Let's go ahead and sell this bad boy. Thank you. Nope. Again, I wish the first item on this was heal HP, but, whatever. It just makes sense, because usually when you come here, you're like spamming for the health, so. But, whatever. It's what it is, right? You're getting a bad feeling about this, are you sure you want to go in? Too dark to see anything. It was a trap! Oh, at least you landed on something soft. 
cushion. Well, that was lucky. Someone's talking on the other side of the door. Dude, come on, please. Just let us go. I want to go home. I don't want to die, mommy. <laughs> don't worry, little humans. I'm not going to eat you. Oh, no, me. I despise such savagery. I just want us all to be happy. Oh, yes. Ha ha ha. Then let us out already, man. Ha ha. You don't have any idea what you've gotten yourself into, do you? What do you want from us? Come now. What would you all do if the tables were turned? Hmm? Think for a moment. Money? You want our money then? Here, you can you can have every last pico! Ah, see, I knew you'd understand, but you know, I just beat all of your little creatures and they were so, so weak. Hard to imagine that small fried disguise like you would have any cash to spare. Well, what the heck do you want from us then? Ah, how about that disc kid you've got? Hand it over! I'm sure it would fetch a high price. The sinker thing? Fine, it's yours. Dude, are you serious? Of course I am, I ain't about to get myself killed over this stupid pile of junk. Ha <laughs> I love humans who know how to make a deal. Ah, Burgie, show our friends the way out. As you wish. Ah, uh, yes, one last thing. Face this way if you'd be so kind. Ha 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 ha. Memory deletion complete. Duel come again. Ha 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 ha. Oh, a new guest so soon. Those four? Yes, yes, the memories have been wiped, but they'll be good as new by tomorrow. Minus all recollection of today's events, of course. The creature in the next room is the strongest creature in this area, and me, I'm probably the weakest of all. Weaklings like me have no choice but to live in the shadow of greater creatures like that. You look like a pretty ordinary human. You won't be able to defeat greater creatures with strength alone. Got it? Then don't do anything foolish. Well, we can't get out of here, so... Gahaha! A new guest, is it? You were listening in on a little chat just now, yes? I know you were. You look like a discar, too. You've seen what will happen, so just make this easy and hand over the disc, kid. Gahaha! A creature like me, I could flatch and you would like a pancake, but no, I am far too kind for that. I prefer to solve things peacefully. Really, it's your own fault. You pesky humans always come sneaking in here, not giving it even a second thought. All I had to do was play around with the memories of the first poor soul who stumbled in here. Their stories were enough to make this place an ever so popular spot for silly humans seeking a supernatural thrill. So they come like moths to a flame over and over again. Ha <laughs> ha don't give me that look. All life is not created equal, my little friend. Just as you step on bugs without a care, I am free to walk over you humans as I please. Tell me, what human would watch their step if every bug they crushed turned to gold? The weak have no right to defy the strong. Da ha ha, let me piece it all together for you. Now try not to get squished, you little bug! Warning. Puzz. Interesting. A level 8 Puzz. Puzz's eyes are spinning. Lady Lock. Puzz is strong, eh? Uh -oh. Puzz's pieces all split up. Only one. Oof. Puzz tightened up his defense. Protect. And your guard is up. Okay. The next move's gonna be Rock Blast. Probably gonna wipe out, uh, my... No, we didn't. Let's go. Next 
this is gonna be panic. Okay. Yes! We weren't hit by the confusion, but yeah. I signed up his defenses again. Well, we should survive panic, so... I should have just stuck with that. You wait! Did you actually win?! That can't be true, that's impossible! No, you didn't stand a chance. I've wanted nothing more than to be a stronger creature, but we are burgy are bone weak, so I figured I'd never get strong no matter how hard I try. Could you tell me your name? Crow. Well, uh, Crow, I'll admit I am a weak creature, but seeing you in battle just now taught me what true strength is, so I've decided to travel the world and get strong like you. When I do, please allow me to test my strength against you and your creatures, Crow. Good work, Crow. Some creature just zoomed out of here like a rocket. What's up? Eh, whatever. Anyway, I bet you were surprised with that dangerous creature hiding in here. But hopefully this was a good lesson. Some creatures do hold incredible power, but with a team that you can rely on, no creature can stand in your way. Now then, Crow, let's head home. Episode 1. Completed. Interesting. Is that the sound of us sleeping? Boo! Have a good day, smiles. Ha! Inattentive parents. Guys and girls, girls and guys, gather around and feast your eyes. Mr. Discar is back in Lyceum Town. How's your chance to get the sword of disc you've only ever dreamed of? Step on up, pray to the random number gods. Today will be a lucky day. Come find me by the disc cafe. Don't forget to have your lollets ready. There's a creature hiding over here. One of these days I'm gonna be this guy poison. Oh, okay. Hey there, sport. I'm in town selling whistle cartridges. I don't think I have any. Alright, we got a devil hat. Which are full. Alright, so anything we currently have uh, in terms of discs should be sellable. Which is not cool. I have like no money, so I hope that's not gonna be an issue. Welcome! Well, now you are no face, Mr. Discard remembers. I'm Mr. Discard, the disc mixer. I've got my mystery disc machine set up here today. Uh, you might ask me, Mr. Discard, my good sir, what is this mystery disc machine of yours? Well, it's a machine, see, that can score you one of a variety of crystal discs. Which ones? That's the mystery. There's no telling what will pop up until it does, but you might just find a creature you've never seen before. And normally I charge a flat rate of 20 pika, but for you, for you, my little friend, your first try is free. So what do you say? Want to give it a go? Yes. Wonderful. Just step right up, say a prayer, make a wish, cross your fingers, and give it a pull. Blubzilla. Mm. Well, how about that? Me and my trusted machine here will be back again sometime, so don't be shy. Ta-ta!
Hey, a crow! So, did you get a good disc? Next, you should go east to the bulletin board. No time to dilly dally! Okay. So, what is this creature we just got? It was 115, I believe I saw. It should be around here. Ah, oh, just, just shy. Oh, it's a fire type. Slow, but tough and powerful. One power. But I like my bird. So. Unfortunate for you, Blubzilla, I like my fire crow. My cinder row. I could I should rename it to Cinder Crow. This guy I want to add. Please help my big brother. We just went to play in Pecan Forest together and crossed this bridge there so we could explore the juggling woods. We always do. Me and my brother together, but this time some scary creature that lives out there put a curse on my big brother. Now he can't even talk anymore. I didn't see anything, but I think he found something real bad out there. That's how he got all cursed. Please help him. Curse of the Lost. Fights. Not for the EXP or anything. It's for the discs that we can get. It's free money, y'all. Double disc creatures. Simple, 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 simple. Level five's immediately across the bridge. Let's go. It's all free money, y'all. A tomate took a fireball to the face, eh? Juglin Village. City folk might call us countryside bumpkins, but all of us here are proud of our rustic lifestyle. I get to run around here all I want, but you can't do that in them big cities, huh? Makes you want to move out here, yeah? I mean, I can run as much as I want. It's just a scarecrow. You just can't beat the taste of veggies who grow out here in the nice fresh air. You see all the TV folk eating their veggies and sprouting this ain't half bad? Like it's a compliment or something? Well, of course it ain't. It ain't any bad. Another energen. Juggling Woods. So that's where we're gonna have to go very soon for the, um, the 
crap. I really want to get my hands on a quiver pull disc. If you bring me one, I'd gladly trade a snow skirts. Another reason to hold on to at least one of everything, eh? Interesting. And into the juggling woods, just a word of advice, you might want to pick up a leapfrog or two. Just in case. We handle construction, logging, and any other menial labor you can think of. If you ever need anything at all, just let us know. I'm the one you can thank for fixing the bridge. Apparently the reason it broke was because some rather plump creature walked across it. But what I hear, that same creature is just itching for a good battle. I'm headed to Lyceum Town, hoping to find someone to take them on. If you ever shape up to be a real tough sort of discard, you, it might just show up again looking for you, little human. Oh, it's asleep. Aww. Cute. Oh, got yourself a disc kid there, do ya? Up north there are lots of different wild creatures. There's but there's one called Dark Lops that's dark rarer than the rest. You're not all that likely to run into them. But if you can get one on your team, you definitely won't regret it. Oh, really? Just because my husband was wanting to discard with a disc kid of his own, he likes to think he's qualified to give it advice. Do all men get this way when they grow old? Sometimes. Shelves are filled with anything but easy books to read. As usual. Doc Grapes Institute for Creature Research. Comparing scanner records. No matches found. Doors will remain locked. What is this scarecrow doing here? It's blocking something. I, I hear there are ghosts out in juggling boats. Ghosts! Apparently these creatures called Grooge are the most dangerous of all. Whenever they're about to lose, they'll hit your creature with a curse error out of sheer spite. Cursed creatures will start losing their energy. Scary stuff! Sir, you are a ghost. Oh! It's like, don't scare me like that! Uh, if your creatures are hit with errors in battle, a number of pretty bad things can happen to them. If they're hit with toxic, they'll slowly start losing their health. If it's paralysis, they may not even be able to move, and those are only two of the many differences. Uh, errors that come in gray boxes and errors in blue ones. The gray ones don't stack, so you can't get hit with more than one. The blue ones, though, they can stack right on top of other errors. So if you have a paralyzed, you can't get toxic at the same time, but you could get hit with dark. Oh, interesting. I like that. So, like, the idea is that, um, certain statuses, you can stack them on. So if you have, like, a tough boss or something coming up, you can stack a bunch of things on top of it to make it so that it's harder to hit you. It's, uh, I don't know, does a bunch of things, but you can't, like, stack, like, poison as well as, like, stop it from taking turns, for example. So, that is a good thing to be aware of as well for ourselves when it comes to priorities. Like, if we get hit with something that's, like, um, poisoning us every turn, but, like, we're able to outheal it or, like, we don't care. Well, then we can just ignore it, right? So, it's like... We're gonna have to... Keep an eye on those types of things and just kind of be aware of what's happening. But it doesn't seem all that bad, thankfully. So... Yeah. Okay. Reboots a knocked out creature. Chili charm. Resistant... Ooh, to curse. That'll be good. That's most of our money. I'll take one. And I will give it to... Sinro, I think. I think that makes the most sense to me. I need that quaver pole again. Unfortunate. If I had known that we were gonna need a quaver pole, Eventually, I would have just kept it. Ugh. Well, we'll walk back to the dude and try to buy one. All right.
Though the only unfortunate thing is this game is starting to feel like it's going to be a style of game in which you really only get a well-diverse three-person team, and then that's that. You don't switch out. Which, like, yeah, I get it. Grinding and everything really sucks sometimes. But at the same time, I'm like... Like, I, I want a reason to have to switch out. I... But, who can argue with being like, oh man, I got like a superb team, I'm not gonna switch my team out. I should probably actually head up through this forest. Love it if you just wipe them all out with one quick old hit, but I doubt you will. You might barely kill two of them now. And then a devastating blow, and then a devastating blow. You're wiped out. You're wiped out. Nice. Wow, lots of tomato discs. That right there just repaid us on the, um, the, uh, water calls. They're not called water calls, but that's what I'm calling it right now. As long as Cinderro hits somebody else, things will be okay, because Cinderro will just, you know, one-shot these things, obviously. Jesus, so many tomato discs. Superb. Just smash through this one, and then in three, a two, one, gone. Told you. Three, two, one, gone. Why am I walking here again when it's not even the direction we need to go? Look, I get it. I wouldn't say no to a Battelle disc. Like I said, we probably could hold on to at least one of each. Unfortunately. Trades and shit like that. Or it's just something we like. Um just go search out whenever we need them. That might be the better option. There's really no need for us to hold on to one of everything. You know? Blade went tanks. You didn't take it out? I am literally shocked and appalled. Halagi! Take it out. Easy peasy. Limoleum squeezy. Double dash attack. And then a left. Just how little damage our Cinderro does when it's uh, a physical move. Another Claw Daddy, though. Which I found these guys to be the rarest, and we had just Quaver Poles left and right without a problem, and now we're like, Where are you? Gil, please. Why were you in the water? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Of course we get the Ogneon. I don't want the Ogneon, I need the Quaver Pole, or whatever your name is. The Poliwhirl. Have you attack that one. I'm gonna have you attack that one. I'm gonna have you attack that one. Even though the third one for sure is gonna stay alive. Why is my electring so weak? I like the aspect of the uh, lucky to get randomly get. Thank you. To get uh, energy randomly, like it's something that's not necessary, but it's kind of cool that it happens. Like an element of luck. Uh, that's more than just, like, critical hit ratios and shit like that. And it's just a little extra boost for your fights. That isn't necessarily expected, but is very much welcomed. You know? Okay, let's get this trade underway. Because otherwise I'm going to forget by the time we hit next week. Yes. Thank you for your snow scares. Okay. Does this mean I need to like go re-talk to everybody every time? Give us something good, something rare. Oh, baby, luck hold true. Ah, oh, it's an uncommon. Dig stag. Thank you. So I feel like this is some guy who will just randomly show up, ah, uh, just willy nilly. Like each time you enter town, you have a chance of him being there. Oh, it's a snow cat. I love it. Okay. Dig Dug is. I don't even know. There's Dig Dug. Well. Alrighty then, everybody. I think this is where we are going to end up calling it for today. And. We'll pick up again with this next time. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay funky, people. <laughs>